Inside Moorhead State Basketball is brought to you by Fazoli's Fast Fresh Italian, U.S. Bank, all of us serving you, Eagle Chevrolet of Moorhead, St. Clair Healthcare, amazing medicine close to home, Big Four Lumber Ace Hardware, the helpful place, Toyota Motor Manufacturing, Kentucky, Moorhead Tourism Commission, escape the normal, Citizens Bank, the home of totally free checking. Dr. Jeff Bailey, Family Dentistry and Orthodontics. Tim Short Auto Group, take the short drive to satisfaction. Eagle Finance, loans made easy, payments made affordable. Commercial Bank of West Liberty, a source of strength for more than 100 years. Total Care Pharmacy, dispensing care one patient at a time. Reno's Roadhouse. Go wild, go west, go Reno's. Commonwealth Chiropractic. Eagle Trace Golf Course, the home of the Moorhead State Eagles. West Liberty Veterinary Clinic, serving the hills since 1963. First National Bank, a tradition of value and convenience. Wendy's of Moorhead, fresh, never frozen. Richard White Wood Products, a premier exporter of Kentucky hardwoods worldwide. And by Stander for Builders Paving in West Liberty. Quality work at affordable prices. That's how we roll. Hello and welcome to Inside Moorhead State Basketball on the campus of Moorhead State University and the Academic Athletic Center. As always, alongside my man, the head basketball coach of the Eagles, Preston Spradlin, I'm David Patrick. And Preston, finals week, good for your team in the classroom, a strong finish to the semester. The game after finals week, not so much. Yeah, not as good, but uh, you, didn't, you know, the long break right there offers a lot sure. of things. Obviously, like we talked about, finishing the semester strong, which we did. Mm -hmm. uh, guys all passed their classes and, and did what they needed to do, taking care of business right. in the classroom. And then it offered an opportunity for us to, to have a couple uh, off days in there to rest our bodies up and then to focus on us and work on us. Unfortunately, may have gotten us a little bit out of rhythm <laughs> because uh, when we showed up on Monday night against Marshall, just we weren't the same team that we had been through the first 10 games, especially on the defensive side of the ball. But, you know, offered up a, a great opportunity for us to learn from it and see some shortcomings that we've got at this point in the year and, and then another long stretch there to really get in the gym and work on those things. Stay with us when we come back. Highlights from the Moorhead State Marshall game at Johnson Arena. That's next on Inside Moorhead State Basketball. Fill your prescriptions and fill your stockings at Total Care Pharmacy. They have a huge selection of Christmas gifts and decor with free gift wrapping and free delivery within Moorhead City limits. Total Care Pharmacy cares about the community. That's why they offer a diabetes education program and a wide selection of diabetic shoes. You can even get your vaccinations there. That's Total Care Pharmacy, 206 West Main Street in Moorhead. At Eagle Finance, our motto is simple. Loans made easy, payments made affordable. We specialize in personal loans from $1,000 to $10,000. Do you need a loan for auto repair, vacations, or other expenses? How about consolidating debt or paying off medical or dental bills? Eagle Finance is here to help. Stop by and see branch manager Bill McGee and his staff at Eagle Finance, or visit us online at eagle.com. Would you like to witness one of Kentucky's best teams in action? Toyota's Kentucky Manufacturing Team offers free tours in Georgetown. Go behind the scenes and see the world of advanced manufacturing at Toyota's largest manufacturing plant in the world. Some of the best vehicles on the road made right here in Kentucky, including the Toyota Camry, the number one selling sedan for 18 years. Schedule your tour today at tourtoyota.com.
I'm Josh Teeter, PGA Tour professional and proud Moorhead State Eagle, inviting you to bring your game to Eagle Trace Golf Course. Nestled in the beautiful Daniel Boone National Forest in Moorhead, Eagle Trace is a unique and challenging venue offering year-round play and is open to the public. We have a large practice range, a clubhouse with a fully merchandised pro shop, a covered pavilion perfect for your great outings, and our newest addition, the Dr. Rex Cheney MSU Golf Facility. We look forward to seeing you here at Eagle Trace or visit us online at eagletracegolfcourse.com. Preston, the special rivalry that is Moorhead State and Marshall. Yep, you know, uh, both of our programs, a uh, lot, of, lot of tradition, and especially between their two programs, and always a lot of fun when we get together. Uh, Got to give Marshall credit, you know, they brought a lot of fans down here, as we would do if we were to go down to Huntington. And so, pretty good crowd here for this game, especially considering after finals, no students here. And so, got off to a good start. I mean, we're shooting the ball well. Jordan Walker making a couple really nice plays, as we know that he can make. And uh, right here, you know, I think the game is, is eight to eight. And then uh, you got to give this kid credit. He really shot the ball well. He shot it the best that he had all season. Comes down in transition and hits a really deep one. And then right here, pretty much back to back threes. And so. Uh, you know, they got them going, and uh, they're a very offense-oriented team. And then, uh, you know, what happened with us, we just really didn't have our defensive intensity like we've been having through our first ten games that had got us the numbers that, you know, we were, the, we were the top team in the OVC defensively in a lot of categories, and we just didn't have that here tonight. And uh, give them credit, you know, Marshall's a very tough matchup. The way that they play, um, they, they really move the ball. They have, they're going to put four or five guys on the court that can really shoot it. Much like us coming into this game, they had not shot the ball very well, but the lid came off the basket against us, and we had something to do with that too. We just did not have our energy, our enthusiasm, and we were a little bit flat. Um, again, you're seeing Jordan here, and so had some good offensive possessions. It's just that we had a stretch that you know, went to our bench a little bit, and we, and we got a little stagnant, and we gave up a run where we didn't defend like we were capable, we didn't rebound. We turned the ball over and had a couple empty possessions with some with some tough shots that we didn't get an opportunity to offensive rebound, and that led to a run. And then we were playing from behind. This is a stretch here where we're making a run, we're being aggressive, we're getting the ball moving, we're attacking the basket, getting easy looks, and then uh, coming right back down here again a few possessions later, just not able to do it. And, and and I thought you know I thought our bench needed to respond a little better, and that just gave us the opportunity to really talk about that because that run really came when we only had one starter on the floor. This lack of communication, you know, lack of uh, defensive intensity, and, and that was where my biggest disappointment had lied because, you know, we're going to be a tough physical defensive team. We've proven through 10 games that's who we could be. We just didn't quite have that here that night, and, and you see here was pretty much the epitome of the game. We just did not play with the toughness that we needed to, David, and it was, it was really, really disappointing for us right there. Um, getting in here, um, you know, Jordan finding Talon Cooper for an open three. Talon is shooting the ball extremely well in the season. So now it's addressing as to, you know, he needs to be more aggressive. He needs to find more shots. And this guy is always aggressive. Diamond tying his career high with 23 points, eight rebounds. Played a really nice game for us and just unfortunate that the, the rest of us couldn't, couldn't up our level to, to match Diamond's intensity for that night. You know, I'm glad as we're going through this, there are a few highlights, but uh, just unfortunately, just not enough of them, David. We just did not get on the defensive uh, intensity in the glass. I mean, right there, you're seeing two offensive rebounds for an easy putback, and uh, there's, our, there's our staff just, you know, wondering where our team is. That's just not been our team uh, throughout this year. It was, it was very disappointing to see that, but, um, you know, this is a group that, you know, we're encouraged by. Uh, they, they weren't happy with their performance. They certainly didn't shy away from from the coaching, the days following into it or following up with it, and, and watching the film, and uh, they knew they didn't play up to up to par of, of the things that we've done so far this year and how we've prepared. The big thing with that, though, David, is is it's a mindset, sure, you know. Sure and, and at some point, you know, we've talked about our leadership on our team this year. We have four guys we've identified as captains, and so there's a ceiling as to where. Your, your coaches can give you confidence and pump you up and hold you accountable. And so then it becomes your, your, your leadership, your right. captains. And so a player-led team is always better than a coach-led team. And so uh, we've, it offered us the opportunity to, to really address that, those leaderships mm -hmm. from the guys in the jerseys, not the guys in the suits, and say, hey, look, where did we, we fall short in picking guys up and holding them accountable and giving them confidence? Because this obviously is something that we cannot repeat. 
Coming up later, please stay with us. Our last segment of the show, you don't want to miss a special highlight reel with the Moorhead City League youth basketball team, a special video. But first, an interview with a special guest. Moorhead State Athletics Director Jamie Gordon joins Preston. That's coming up on Inside Moorhead State Basketball. Dr. Mary Phillips is one of the most compassionate, kindest doctors that I know. Dr. Phillips is a very caring person. She's one of the surgeons that you want to call on. St. Clair provides the much needed medical help, not only for Round County, but for the adjoining counties around us. St. Clair is one of the best things that have ever happened to our region. At the Citizens Bank, we have totally free checking and a free gift. When you combine totally free checking with the best people and the best service, do you know what you get? The best bank. Being the best bank makes it easy for our customers to refer their friends and family to bank with the best too. Every referral gets another free gift. So come bank with the best, the Citizens Bank, home of totally free checking and a free gift. Member FDIC. Dr. Jeff Bailey's Family Dentistry has been providing quality dental care for more than 25 years. We specialize in orthodontics, implants, and cosmetic dentistry. Flexible scheduling and financing are available. Dr. Bailey is a member of the American Orthodontic Society and the Christian Medical Dental Association. Dr. Jeff Bailey's Family Dentistry, 629 Main Street in West Liberty. Hi, I'm Paul Cleaver with Eagle Chevrolet Buick GMC in Moorhead. Eagle scores big with winning deals to save you thousands off MSRP. New Buick Encores as low as $19,995. New 2019 Chevy Malibu RS as low as $20,995. New 2019 Chevy Impalas as low as $25,995. Be sure you shop at Eagle Chevrolet Buick GMC in Moorhead. Check out our website, EagleChevyKY.com. At First National Bank, we believe in banking made easy. Whether it's a checking or savings account or a loan for a home or auto, First National Bank is a place for you. First National Bank is proud to be part of this community and a sponsor of this show. Good luck to Coach Bradlin and his staff on their season. Banking at First National is as easy as one, two, three. Let us assist you with all your banking needs. First National Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. This segment of Inside Moorhead State Basketball is sponsored by Fazoli's. Fast, fresh, Italian. Hi everyone and welcome back to this week's edition of Inside Moorhead State Basketball. This week's interview we're joined by Athletics Director and Head Volleyball Coach Jamie Gordon. And Jamie, uh, coming off uh, another fantastic volleyball season. Uh, I know we got a chance to see you guys a lot here in Johnson Arena. Uh, just talk a little bit about the, the year that you had with your girls. Yeah, it was uh, you know, kind of a neat season for us, uh, transitioning out of Weatherby Gym and, and kind of into your uh, backyard and, and I think it was a, a really a, a cool opportunity for our, our players and our fans to, to come in here and you know, there's a lot of history within this building we we're leaving one uh, with a, a real storied uh, tradition and uh, so you know, having the opportunity to build some memories here and we started off with a, a good season um, we had a, a, a good balance of youth and experience. Um, I think we've got a lot that's returning through. Um, I finished second in the conference and I fell a little bit short against uh, Simo in the OVC championship uh, match, but um, it was a fun group uh, to work with. And, and they've been really supportive of this transition of, of me kind of wearing two hats. Sure. Uh, you know, having the part of the day where I'm, I'm trying to, to, to do some things here departmentally and then um, work into and, and transition into the uh, into practice and, and they've been great and it's been a been a fun ride a lot of work but uh, you know a good one yeah 17 years here for, for Jamie all-time winning as head coach of any sport uh, here for us and that's certainly something to be proud of I know you're gonna give all the credit to all the young ladies that, sure. that you've had and you've certainly had a ton of them and a lot of really good returning young players this year and you know, Olivia Lohmeyer and, and, and all, the list goes on and on, so a lot of excitement going forward too. Yeah, you know, anytime, well, obviously I've been here for a while, so it, it, 
it's uh, you, know, you get to amass a, a couple of a couple of wins and stuff. And um, just like you, you, know, you haven't shot one basket and, and or scored one point or blocked one shot sure. uh, in a Moorhead State uniform, nor have I served a single point or anything like that. And I think, um, if anything, I've, I've been able to be smart with uh, some hires as, as, as far as having a really good staff. And then from the recruiting side, we've really been able to, to bring in some uh, exceptional young women uh, and then let them go, get out of their way, uh, you know, try and create a culture and uh, empower them to uh, to create some great memories and, and, and some great accomplishments on the court. And I've just been fortunate enough to get a, a really good seat of that. And um, I would say probably the, the most special uh, piece of that last win of, of surpassing, um, you know, Coach Hamilton is, is really what he meant um, to, the, to the department. And he's a, a first-class guy. And, um, and I think uh, as coaches, we always try to, you know, do the right thing. And, and I think he's somebody that um, I've kind of emulated and I think a lot of uh, coaches have. And so uh, to, to just be in that same conversation as, as Steve Hamilton and what he, what he did here, um, I think is, is really a special uh, special thing for me. That's pretty good company to be in. So Absolutely. Let's, let's talk about two transitions. One, obviously the physical transition over here to Johnson Arena um, and what that was for you guys. I thought the volleyball atmosphere was awesome this year. Uh, I thought the game promotions and, and the uh, programming and everything was really good. And I know you've made some changes for, for men's and women's basketball and working on our fan engagement and mm -hmm. our audience and uh, just a lot of you know, uh, improvements to our facilities here with the student athlete in mind. And so talk a bit, a little bit with wearing your, your athletics director's hat sure. with those things. Well, you know, I think, um, you know, one of the, 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 the key pieces that we wanted to, to make sure that uh, we're putting in here is that the, the heart of every decision that we make, we put the student athlete. Uh, at the center of that and um, and when it comes to game atmosphere and promotions and what this athletics department means for the institution uh, we carry that same student centric model as well talk about our game atmosphere our promotions I've, I've got to give Sarah Hacker a, a, a plug she's done a, an unbelievable job with her energy and her passion for Moorhead State and I think that was a fantastic hire bringing her on here well thanks it, it was you know it was an easy one um, because She's got so much passion as a former student athlete here and playing softball, and, and so Moorhead State holds a very special uh, place in her heart, but um, her passion for what she does um, and her creativity, and I think that's one of the things that um, she and I, uh, I think, balance well together, as well as our coaching staff. Uh, Sarah has been ph phenomenal. She's done a great job, and I gotta give you a plug, Jamie, just to, you know, having the coaching background, the success that you've had, bringing that to the athletic director, the, the administrative side now, exactly what you said. I think that's very, very uh, blanket. It's very transparent. You know, we talk about with our players all the time to have a get it back mentality. Mm -hmm. we, we love mistakes. That means we're going hard. That means we're, we're trying new things. That means our energy and our effort is there. We always talk about getting it back and learning from those failures. And I think when we can demonstrate that for our players and then we demonstrate that as coaches and now it's extending it through our administration, our athletics department, I think that's going to really bode well for us going forward. And so we're glad you're here. You're doing a fantastic right. job. We appreciate the, the efforts that you've put in wearing both hats. It's, it's certainly mm -hmm. not been easy, I'm sure, but uh, we're, very, we're very thankful that you've put in a lot of time to do that for our student athletes yeah. and for our staff. Well, well, thanks. I appreciate that. And this is a special place and uh, you know, anything that I can do to, to really give back to um, an institution that has provided you know, me and my family so much and, and our student athletes uh, just a, a great education and experience. Um, so there's a lot of investment here and, and so taking on this new role is, is exciting and something that I'm definitely grateful for. So I appreciate the comments. Well, great. Well, Jamie, thanks for being on here today and uh, you stay tuned. We'll be right back with Inside Moorhead State Basketball. Pain is your body's way of telling you that something's wrong. Stress from a car accident, work injuries, aggravation, or even unknown aches can manifest and become worse months or years down the road. Take the initiative and take care of your body. Dr. Chris Skinner at Commonwealth Chiropractic in Moorhead has a locally owned practice that pledges to treat everyone like family. And he's the official chiropractor for Moorhead State Athletics. Located off the US 60 bypass, just west of City Park next to iStyle Salon, call today, 783-0233. Go Reno's! There's no better way to spend the day than with lunch or dinner at Reno's Roadhouse in Moorhead. Enjoy delicious steak, chicken and ribs, 
along with our trademark honey butter rolls and hometown hospitality. Hi, I'm Tim Cogner. I promise to provide 100% guest satisfaction here at Reno's Roadhouse and Moorhead. Hi, I'm Gary Markham, proud Moorhead State alum and managing partner of Tim Shore Auto Group. I'd like to welcome you to our state-of-the-art facility on Kentucky 801, just off I-64. We offer new Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, and Ford makes, along with a wide selection of quality pre-owned vehicles. We now invite you to take the short drive to satisfaction in Moorhead or our two newest locations, Maysville and Lexington. We are Tim Shore Auto Group. Big Four Lumber Ace Hardware is celebrating more than 40 years as a locally owned and operated family business in Moorhead. We would like to thank our valued customers for your loyalty and trust and pledge to continue supplying the best quality service by our hometown employees. Big Four Lumber is a staple of the Moorhead Round County community. We take great pride in giving back and invite you to join us for our many customer appreciation events throughout the year. That's Big Four Lumber Ace Hardware, 1470 Flemingsburg Road in Moorhead. These days, banking, like basketball, moves at a fast pace. At Commercial Bank, that same fast pace comes to life with our lenders. We're fast with local loan decisions. Bankers who you know and who know you. Simply put, it's better banking. Commercial Bank, where friendliness prevails. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Welcome back to Inside Moorhead State Basketball, and we have saved the best highlight package for last. And Preston, I'm going to let you introduce this. Your son, Bentley Spradlin, playing in the Moorhead City League. And what a treat it was to go shoot video of him this past week. Uh, just just very special to, to see the, the guys out there in the court. Yeah, great treat for, for fans, but a, a great treat for the kids, too, <laughs> to, to get on the show here with, with some highlights. But a lot of fun. I've really enjoyed getting a chance to yes. watch him play. This is his second year playing in the City League. He's in the first and second uh, co-ed, first and second grade co-ed division right now. And uh, got to give credit to our, our Parks and Rec. They do a wonderful job. Sure. Uh, now playing in Laughlin where we have four courts and they can have a lot of kids going at one time and so they're doing a really nice job of you know getting the kids involved they're learning the game they're having fun and it's a lot of fun for us parents to get out there obviously every team has to be coached well yeah and so that's uh, that's Callie Barnett doing a great job she's got one of her boys on the team there and uh, she's, she's talking about defense and having your hands up and uh, you know, that you can do a lot of teaching, but sometimes when that ball comes out at this level, you just never know what's going to happen. And so there's my boy, number one. He's out there uh, playing a little defense right now. You see he's kind of trying to scrap it up a little bit, getting a deflection, diving on the floor or falling on the floor maybe. But he's, he's, he's playing hard. You know, we talk about that with him all the time. And there he is getting out, getting a steal and uh, getting out. And of course, if you notice, he's left-handed and uh, he's working on his dribbling. You know, he really shoots the ball well. And, but we got to get him to where he's, he's dribbling and keeping a live dribble. And so uh, there's my buddy Cayman Owen, Cayman Owen right there. Doing, does a great job. He's going to be a really good player. And, uh, you know, all these kids, it's just a lot of fun to see them. And so Easton Haven's here getting himself a steal, getting out in transition, using the backboard like we talk about all the time. And so, you know, it's about the fundamentals at this time for, for all these young guys. And see right there, my guy Mason Foltz making a great pass to Lincoln underneath, Lincoln knocking in a jump shot. Bentley with the D on my boy Craig Pico here. Everybody knows the Pico family here in town, and Craig's his buddy. And, uh, Craig with a, with a great shot off the glass right there and so it's fun it's a lot of fun to come see them all play and as you can see Bentley with the pass fakes and the shot fakes really good just got to work on keeping the dribble alive and again they're all learning to play here and, and it's fun. Preston I think he got an assist on that. You know, I it, think it was a pass off the backboard. First and second grade City League basketball that will count as an assist so we will go with that and then you see my, my boy Mason Fultz again you know these these made shots David I got to give a shameless plug right here those are a result of the uh, Moorhead State men's basketball camp back yes. during the summer. That, that's where these <laughs> fundamentals and these and these made shots are coming from. And uh, see Bentley here hustling, running the floor. Great to see that, getting out, dribbling. Here comes the the, the, the shot again, and right there is a great opportunity. We got to we got to use that backboard. And so you see my guy Mason Fultz just getting in there, rebounding the ball, 
and uh, getting some putbacks, doing a, doing a fantastic job there. And so, uh, again, you, you can see uh, my, my guy Nathan Pico out there just directing traffic, teaching the guys how to play, and it's just a lot of fun. You know, they're, they're all learning the game, and they're, they're learning to love the game and have fun with it. Uh, you see Gunnar Havens here is one of the younger kids out here playing. You know, great job just getting himself a shot right there, and it's always exciting. You know, it's exciting when they when they go out there and they and they make a couple baskets. And so, I think that the big thing too at this at this age is getting them to learn that you don't have to shoot it every time you touch it. And so, it's a lot of fun when you do see them go out there and they try to get a teammate a shot. And uh, here, the game is winding down right here. My guy came and getting it to Bentley, left hand drive down the lane off the glass, and uh, we'll take that. We'll take that right there. And so, uh, but it, it's fun. It's a lot of fun for me to to get to watch him play and to get out and work with oh, them. And you know, uh, Misty does a great job. She'll bring the kids by the, the gym at, at the end of practices sometimes. And Bentley likes to get out there and rebound for our players and get out there and do some shooting. And it's fun for him to get to do that in our new practice gym and uh, here in Johnson Arena. So uh, glad we were able to get him and his buddies on the show right there because uh, you know the love of the game, that's where it starts, is, is playing at that age. And so it's a lot of fun to see that. So much fun to, to be a part of that. Thank you for watching this week. We really appreciate it. And on behalf of the Eaglehead basketball coach, Preston Spradlin, I'm David Patrick. We look forward to seeing you next week right here on Inside Moorhead State Basketball. Inside Moorhead State Basketball was brought to you by Fazoli's Fast Fresh Italian. U.S. Bank, all of us serving you. Eagle Chevrolet of Moorhead. St. Clair Healthcare, amazing medicine close to home. Big Four Lumber Ace Hardware, the helpful place. Toyota Motor Manufacturing, Kentucky. Moorhead Tourism Commission, escape the normal. Citizens Bank, the home of totally free checking. Dr. Jeff Bailey, Family Dentistry and Orthodontics. Tim Short Auto Group, take the short drive to satisfaction. Eagle Finance, loans made easy, payments made affordable. Commercial Bank of West Liberty, a source of strength for more than 100 years. Total Care Pharmacy, dispensing care one patient at a time. Reno's Roadhouse, go wild, go west, go Reno's. Commonwealth Chiropractic, Eagle Trace Golf Course, the home of the Moorhead State Eagles. West Liberty Veterinary Clinic, serving the hills since 1963. First National Bank, a tradition of value and convenience. Wendy's of Moorhead, fresh, never frozen. Richard White Wood Products, a premier exporter of Kentucky hardwoods worldwide. And by Standifer Builders Paving in West Liberty, quality work at affordable prices, that's how we roll.